All of these things are made with hair. Vroid Studio's hair tool is pretty powerful in terms of its level of customization. Beyond just sculpting the hair that you want, did you know that you can create accessories for your Vroid character using this tool? From simple things like glasses, chains, to even full-blown airplanes, let's explore what this tool can actually give you in order to bring your avatar's customization to the next level. But before we do that, we need to know what it can and cannot do so that you know what to expect as we dive in. Hair meshes are anchored to the middle of your avatar. Its shape is controlled by these points. Deforming these will help create wavy hair textures, updos and so much more. These mesh points can be stretched outwards pretty much infinitely, but it can't be squeezed past the origin point. So complex shapes can be made by creating multiple layers of these hair meshes and then sculpting on top of them. While your brush strokes dictate the 2D shape, the mesh dictates the 3D shape. Let's take a look at an example here. Chains. The first layer is for the chain facing forward, and the second layer is for the chain facing sideways. The brush strokes makes the loop for the chains, and the mesh makes it face forward or sideways. With enough imagination, you can pretty much do anything with them. But this is just one of the components out of this highly customizable tool. So let's look at texturing your accessories. Hair textures will wrap a hair strand from the front to the back. In that sense, your texture map is split into two. Since transparencies can be registered with the hair texture, you'd notice that some accessories found on Booth will only fill up halfway, or the textures have two sides to them in order for you to use it within one hair texture in order to optimize your model. The texture's position and size can be adjusted using the width and offset sliders respectively. In this example, we'll use the ear accessory. This can be downloaded from my Booth store which I've linked in the description below. After replacing the texture, and making sure that the hair's width remains the same. You can then position the accessory over your character's ear as you like it. When using these two components together, you can make some really heavily customized stuff just like these glasses that I've also found on Booth, which I've also linked in the description below. With that said, accessories that need to stick closely and bend around a face's contours, like face masks, aren't as feasible with the hair tool since the mesh's curves can't be fine-tuned. This would be better off with the textures done directly on the face, or, if you're able to, edit it on a 3D modeling program like Blender. Hair bones can be used if your accessories are meant to deform when your avatar is moving, such as those made out of soft materials like paper or cloth. Like normal hair, the bone parameters can be adjusted to how you like it. The fixed point determines where the mesh will deform from, gravity will add weight to the accessory, making it deform from gravitational pull, 
and hit radius determines how much area your mesh will be affected by the bones. Vroid hairs will also automatically anchor to the avatar's head. So in order for it to be weighed somewhere else, like for tails and wings, you'll need to re-weigh it to the specific bone that's closest to where your accessories are. And Virtual D made a video explaining just that. It'll involve the use of Unity though, so be prepared to dive into a program that you may not be familiar with. By breaking down the basics of what could be done with the hair tool, I hope I've given you guys some ideas on how you can give your Vroid avatars more things to use and wear. Thank you for watching till the end of the video, and have fun modeling!